yeah, speaking of stupid, we're going to have to talk about this for, for a second. Alonzo's post-race penalty of 20 seconds. I don't like this. I and three points don't on his like license, that. which seems excessive a that seems excessive but b i don't think it actually means anything because if you think about going back to when pierre gasly was the most penalized driver of all time um and he was like on the verge of a race ban and everybody was like is he gonna get banned from a race and then all of a sudden he stopped getting penalty points obviously he also stopped getting penalties and stopped crashing because he was in a different car but i i don't have confidence in fia's the fia's ability to you know, penalize and monitor penalty points and actually give the penalties that they say that they're going to give. And, you know, Fernando has three points. I think he only has three points. Yeah, so he only has three. He, and they reset fine. like in May or something, or they drop off like in a weird time of the year because it's not fiscal. No, it's, it's, like it's based off – it's I think it's like based off like a year to the race that you achieved, that you got the points in. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But like yeah. okay, and I was reading the FIA and the stewards like notes and the printout that they publish. And I wildly disagree with everything that they said. Agreed. It was like you know, the driver had never done this in any other point in the race, so like clearly he's lying and he was doing this deliberately. Obviously, I'm paraphrasing, but clearly he was fighting for a position for the first time the entire race. So, yeah, maybe he's going to drive a little bit differently and have a little bit of a different strategy. Like, don't look at, you know, lap 22 where nothing's happening. Clearly, that's not going to be the same. He's not going to take the same line or the same approach as he is in the very last lap of the race where he's trying to win. Well, yeah, but Not he's also going to be like trying to make get points. But he's also going to be managing his car differently from lap twenty to lap fifty eight, which is you know the and and they they. They said, you know, he's not at fault for creating dirty air behind his car, um, but he slowed down to an excessive point that was not expected by the driver behind, which was George, who ended he crashed um, and ended up he clipped a wall and ended up, you know, on his side in the middle of the track. It was a little, little scary until you know he got out. But I do think that Alonso's penalty was both excessive and unnecessary um you know there there are the rules of of moving under braking which you can you can move once under braking you cannot move more than once um but i do really think that you know the stewards really went after fernando for something that you know they shouldn't it's a scary precedent to set too right yeah oh they slowed down more than the driver behind them was anticipating it's like you don't, you don't know what the car in front of you is actually going to do. And so what if, like, I can just imagine the radio calls, like, well, they slowed down a little bit more than I was anticipating, and then I did something bad, so it's their fault. Yeah. It's it's such a George thing. Like, of course. Yeah, it's, it, unfortunately, this is not the first time George has done this while in active no. pursuit. This happened right. in Singapore last year. I have not watched Silverstone 2022 when he also crashed in a Carlos Sainz win because I just won't watch that race for reasons. But this, you know, George is a good driver. I know that you don't, you know, he's not your favorite, but he's a very solid driver. And, but he still has these quirks, especially when he's trying really hard to overtake the car in front of him, that sometimes he loses a little bit of that awareness and that leads him into a wall. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Agreed. Yeah. Also off track for a moment. I feel like, (laughs) Catherine won't watch Silverstone 2022 is the ultimate cliffhanger of this podcast. <laughs> yes, yes, Will I know. Will we ever find out? Keep listening to no. <laughs> the answer is no. Is no. But, but keep listening anyways. Keep listening, and I will still reference to the fact that I will not watch that race for oh. reasons. Um, oh my gosh. Anyway, I saw enough of it on Drive to Survive because they showed that clip of Joe Guan Yu flipping over 82 times. From a million know, angles. From a you million angles. Just of it. Yeah, but also, you know, back before we leave George real quick, 